My content is for 13 and up or adult collections of the product. Hey everyone, uh, final video for Ultimate Evil Valtrek, and I think the only other one's probably going to be Ragnar later on, but uh, before we continue with this video, you got to subscribe to the channel with bell notifications on and comment your thoughts. I want a real discussion for this because honestly, like, we, we got to get talking. So uh, as, as much as I, I, I really went in on Ragnar, I, I, I think Ultimate Evil was worse, but the reason why I didn't go as hard mentioning Ultimate Evil is because I wanted to see the back of the box in case there's a misprint or, or, or something, right? Try to give the most benefit possible because, you know, I, I, I think honestly we owe Ragnar an apology because at least Ragnar has something that could probably be salvaged from it that has a lot more use than whatever this is uh, for Ultimate Evil Valtrake. Honestly, if, if you're a Valtrake fan, like... You don't want to see what they did. So first of all, we're going to go over the main render of the bay, and I'm basically going to explain, as I've already done previously, so this will be a little bit more of a recap on why the nerf is not good. So first of all, the only possibility is maybe that the core has is tight on it. That's, that's literally the only thing that you can possibly say, being positive and trying to be fair to the Hasbro side, that there could be something good there. Otherwise, uh, nothing else. Because the blade... The blade is intended to have rubber on it, but um, there's no rubber, it's plastic. Not only that, but the contact points are rounded, and this severely hurts the bay. It's the same issue that Guilty has for quad drive. It's not as offensive, there's not that much weight there, and becomes not really that usable. And even for rights, uh, like, there's only really Evo Bellfire that's really good that can really make them kind of useful, but even then it's kind of just eh. And that's just kind of my thoughts for all of Cutie. And of course, you know, just the general sentiment that all the bays look absolutely terrible. And you would think a bay that's meant to represent Valkdriak and its entire legacy would look a little bit better on the paint shop. But Hasbro is too cheap and this always the investor's cut that they put in these bays that really just hurts them. So now what we get to is this little fun part. So you'd think, right, that Hasbro would... You know, because it's the last Valtrek, it's supposed to represent, you know, the Valtrek, right? Put effort and care to the thing, because it's, it's such an important release. And it, at least it's like it's the end of QD, you'd think it'd be a little nicer. And other than the core and the blade, guess what armor they gave it? It's not nine. It's the sixth clone. Or it is six. Six or the sixth clone? Either way. What happened to doing nine? What's really funny, too, if you think about this, is that, again, there's no excuses, but what's really funny is that the entire, they, they removed the entire point of the actual uh, armors, because people say, oh, they did the gimmick. Not really, because the whole point of low and high mode was that low mode was a low center of gravity, and high mode was a high center of gravity. You can't really get that with plastic armors, and you'd think because it's plastic, it would be very easy just to do a little plastic uh, mold and just do a, a plastic 9. But not even that. Not even the respect they can give to Hasbro fans and supporters of them for that. Like, for all the stuff I gave to Raphael, it's, a, it's probably going to be way more interesting than this. Because, like, come on, bro. Come on. I, it, it feels like such a disappointment, to be honest, when you're looking at it. Like, it almost feels like like a joke at the start of QD for what Hasbro would do that actually became real. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next part, which, honestly, I'm not really excited at all. Oh, the Legacy Disc. Wow, that, that disc, you know. Even, you know, regardless of QD Discs, even if you like, don't like, at the very least, they could at least do the Legacy Disc, right? So do you know what they do instead? They say... We don't care about the people that support us. We're just counting all the money that we just made. So you know what they do? They pick the Karma disc. And guess what? This is a repeated issue since Surge. When, what was it? It was like the chassis discs that were missing that they never did. And you would think, because there's not even, there's be, it, if there was an issue where they, they did too many discs and they couldn't do the Legacy, they didn't have to do those Hasbro exclusive discs because what? For the main base, they should have those discs at the very least, and then after Asimov exclusives are like a second priority. Are they nice? Sure, but if that was the result, I don't know. I personally just think they were so cheap, they didn't want to spend the money to make a new mold for a disc, and they reused it. 
And the performance tip, so even though it's Revolve, and the wiki is wrong on that because the symbol does not actually match Revolve, and not even the shape actually really matches it, but that tip in itself is not even really that good for stamina. There are like so many better other tips uh, than it. Even the attachments, like they they couldn't they couldn't do variable. This is now apparently you know we can just guess and call it Hunter and Wiki says and I'm gonna let them slide on that because it does look like it. That attachment is extremely passive. And as we are ending off uh, with just kind of just looking at the general look of the bay, because after that is just the low and high mode section. I don't like the QD system at all. Uh, and the reason why I say this actually is that it's least interesting out of all of them. The tips aren't even special. Even Speedstorm, say what you want, even Speedstorm had something more interesting than it. Even if most of the tips weren't that useful, it, it, at least it's, I would say, better than the overall of quad drive I, I i think it would be kind of fair to say or at least somewhat like for qd there's maybe kick attachments octa attachments revolve attachments and that's it the rest is not good and that's that's it the base tips aren't really that good for asbro only so there, there's nothing really going there it's a boring system and for low and high mode, like, I, I, I'm I, kind of fed up at this point. Like, there's nothing... What, what else can I say? I don't know. It's probably not going to perform well. It's best bet is if it has the tightest possible slopes. Like, it's so tight you can't even take it apart. Otherwise, um, I don't... I don't know. Um, don't buy it. If, if you're someone who just gets Hasbro, if you're able to and there's a possibility, try to find a way to get TT, man. I promise it's a better experience, and I promise you get more entertainment out of the bays. Even if you want to say Hasbro Bay's bur burst more, whatever, it's like to, like, or at least get pro series. At least I could say pro series or something, right? And as we're leaving off, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I try, I honestly, I've tried to be so fair to Hasbro, and I think I've done the best job compared to most people that cover Hasbro on going over, no, I'd even say in general, to be honest, because, like, I don't think anyone really tests the base or really goes to the effort that I have. And I've done my, I've done my best. I've done my best to cover. All right, so as we're ending off, I didn't want to just have it be just, like, dragged out to eight minutes for, like, a rant or whatever. Uh, I want to mention that we actually have a um, sale on our store with actually the driver campaign stuff, those gold drivers. Um, if you pre-order Win Nights, still limited time offer, you get a free Divine Belial. We have uh, the launcher pre-order, Hello Kitties, it's the Keeleys. It is an optional way to support the channel. Luminaire Thoughts, thank you for watching. All we can do is hope for the best, or at least hope they do more pro series, and have an amazing day. Bye.